In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the feature in Corel CAD, which you, we call it Entity Snap. So the Entity Snap is in the status bar here. Uh, here it's, uh, it's highlighted, means to say it's the, the Entity Snap is turned on. We also have the Entity Tracking, which means to say it's the guide. And later on, I'm going to show you how it looks like. Anyway, Entity Snap is very powerful because it, it, makes, uh, it makes you draw faster and more precise in Corel CAD. I'm just going to give you an example here. For example, I have this rectangle and then I'm going to put a circle in the center of this triangle. So I'm going to click on my circle tool here and then I'm going to move my cursor see that one so it makes a highlight and if you mouse over it a little bit and wait for a few seconds it shows you that's the end point and if you move see the triangle there that's the midpoint so that symbol size the midpoint and this is the end point and then we got a midpoint here too see the triangle and another midpoint here and whenever i go like this you see the dotted white line that's your um, entity tracking guide okay that would help you uh, draw in Corel CAD so anyway I'm going to oops okay I'm going to delete this first okay so not long let's do it so my object is to put a circle in the middle of this rectangle so I click on my circle and I move closer to the midpoint Okay, now if you notice them, it would show up like a blue light, blue X means to say that's my entity, uh, entity tracking will show up. Okay, what I normally do, I go here, okay, until I I see the the line or the entity tracking. So go here and here. And if I don't see it, I move it. So once you move it, say going down. You see another midpoint here, right? So that's the one. And then I go to go here to my left side and I'll look for my other entity, uh, entity tracking. And then now I can go to the middle and that intersection is the center of the circle. So now I can click and make a circle there. So that's the center of this rectangle. Now let's say I want to, I'm going to make another circle here. I'll zoom in here. Now let's go to the quadrant of a circle. As we know, the quadrant of the circle is here, 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 and here, right? Now let's say I'm going to create a line from here and I'll go to the quadrant. So I'll go to the quadrant of the smaller circle. Now it shows the quadrant point. Now I'm going to I'm not I'm not going to make a quadrant here maybe sure I want uh, let's do that first quadrant point here to quadrant here so I go like this click I know that's a quadrant and I go here and wait for the quadrant sign there quadrant point and he said hit escape okay or hit enter now I'm going to, okay, so that's quadrant. Now let's say I want to make, instead of quadrant, I'm going to make tangent over here. So I click on my line tool. And then the problem here is that it always snaps to the quadrant, right? Now we can override the, the snap settings here by using this ones here, okay? So I go to, I click on my line tool, right? And I want to go tangent here and tangent of the bigger circle. So I click on line and then I look for tangent here. Okay, which is this one. Click on snap to tangent. And if you notice, it doesn't snap to any. See, it doesn't snap to the end point, doesn't snap to the midpoint, the quadrant. It just snaps to the quadrant, uh, to the tangent here. So I'm, I'm, 
and confident that it won't stop to anything but the tangent so click there right now in here of course I have to override it again because now it's stopping to every midpoint 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 add point so I go to my quadrant again uh, sorry tangent and then I'll just move closer to this point and Corel CAD will do it for me there now that's tangent if you notice that's this is tangent I don't know if you see it but this is quadrant so you got some intersecting lines there but here it's quad it's tangent okay now uh, let's uh, so we already know midpoint okay let's go to the center here um, let's say I'm going to create a line from here click it snaps to the end point and I'll go to the center of the circle okay I'm going to put the line center of the circle see if I go move closer to this to the circle the center shows up here right okay so I know that's the the center of the circle Okay, so get down. And let's say we want a line here, click here, and then perpendicular to this line. So I just go move to the line until the perpendicular sign will show up. There, perpendicular. Click, and then hit enter. So that's perpendicular. I'm going to delete this. Okay, now let's go to uh, parallel. Let's say I'm going to create a line here and I want to, to have a parallel. See, it goes like this. So that's parallel. These parallel lines. And let's say I'm going to make another parallel lines from here to going down. So let's say I click here and there. Parallel. Enter. You can also turn off or on the of all your entity snap by going to this tab here. You right mouse click on it and click on settings. And in settings, because sometimes it's not also good to turn all all the snaps, all the entity snaps option. Sometimes what I do, I clear all first, and then I will think, okay, what do I need to draw? I mean, what do I need? What snaps do I need? in my drawing so I click on endpoint midpoint center maybe if I think I need parallel I click on parallel okay or tangent so and then you click apply and then click OK or you can also use the overrides here just to make sure you're hitting on the snap that you wanted Now sometimes uh, you want a line, like say for example, I want a line somewhere between the midpoint of this and the endpoint of this, but I don't see any any snapping line, right? Okay. So uh, in in your entity snap, you can actually click on nearest, means to say the nearest point. Like if you get a line like this. Okay, all the nearest points in here. Okay. So I'll click apply and click OK. So if I click on my line tool here, and if you notice it snaps, see so you got, I don't know if you see it, but you, I can see it says here nearest, nearest. Of course, you got lots of nearest points here. That's when you want to put a line which is not, you know, uh, center or endpoint. Let's say somewhere here. Click. See that? And then let's say some nearest point over somewhere here. Okay. Click. Okay. Well, make sure when you're doing that, when you're done with the nearest snapping, turn it off because next time once you uh, once you go to a line, it will go to every points in that line. So remove the nearest, apply, and click on close. So that's it. So in CorelCAD, you can make or you can draw faster with all these entity snaps. 
with the help of e-tracking, entity tracking. 